Okay, yeah, we're going to show you how to replace a uh, start capacitor, run capacitor, and a Dayton fan. The tools you need are right here, a set of uh, crimpers, crimp tool, a quarter inch nut driver works best. You could use a screwdriver, but this works best. A pair of uh, wire strippers, and the capacitor, replacement capacitor. So we'll start by accessing the cover on the capacitor on the Dayton fan and uh, quarter inch nut driver is what you need. Loosen the screws. Remove them. One on each side. Slide the cover open. The old capacitor is inside. You need to pry that old capacitor out. Like so. There's uh, quick disconnects on the capacitor, you just rule those. They're not polarity sensitive, are they? No, it is not. There are two separate terminals though. You can see. So this is the old capacitor and we're going to replace it. With this new capacitor, it's a little different variety, but serves the same purpose. Higher temperature, higher voltage, right? That's correct. So, right now we have two leads protruding from the motor. And we're going to go ahead and cut those quick disconnects off. Dispose of those, discard them. And we're going to strip off approximately a quarter of an inch off the leads that are protruding. You can see I've done that. And now what we'll do is we'll take our new capacitor. It has a uh, butt swipe already crimped on. And again, this uh, polarity is not, not an issue, so Put one wire into one crimp. Complete mm -hmm. that. Check it. The other wire into the other crimp. Complete that, check it, there's the completed terminals, now we can reassemble the package into the can, just insert the new fastener in. Resecure the can. I'll well, make sure you don't trap no wires underneath yeah, the can. Right. Uh, yes, make sure you don't pinch the wires as you uh, reinstall the can. And that's it. Uh, restore power to the fan, uh, operate the thermostat so that you uh, confirm that the fan starts and stops and you're ready to go. That's it.